versions of the Mackie 1604 have featured an equalizer that I would probably best refer to as a tone control. This equalizer is slightly more flexible uh, for the following reason. It has one parametric EQ band. So this group of four knobs is actually made up of three different variety of equalizers. There is a high shelving equalizer. So this knob here is a cut or boost knob to amplify or attenuate frequencies above 12 kilohertz. So the shelving equalizer will add gain to all the frequencies above the frequency that you set. Well, Mackie has set this frequency at 12 kilohertz, and that's an industry standard now. I mean, these folks have engineered some of the most popular consoles that there are, and 12 kilohertz is as good a frequency as any, but sometimes I might want to change that to 7 or 14 or what have you, and I don't have the ability to do that on this console um, like I would a professional recording console. The mid-range parametric equalizer does allow you to select frequencies and how much you'd like to have them cut or boost. So in this case, the frequency that you select forms the center of the curve that you will be creating. And the parametric curve is a bell-shaped curve. So if I pick 800 hertz and I decide to boost 800 hertz up, well, I am basically boosting the most 800 hertz but also I'm boosting a certain amount of frequencies or a bandwidth around 800 hertz. So some frequencies above and some frequencies below in a bell-shaped curve. A truly flexible parametric equalizer will only affect the shape of this, this curve and how wide it is, how great of a bandwidth uh, will your equalizer function on. And that's called the Q. So there's no Q knob here. Uh, the Q would, would be able to create a narrow bandwidth or a wide bandwidth, this bandwidth is fixed. But what I like about this is that the frequency selector goes all the way from 100 hertz all the way up to 8 kilohertz. So that is a lot of choices. And I'm going to show you what all these choices sound like here. Here is the high shelving equalizer at 12 kilohertz. Now what I can do with the parametric equalizer is I can start it off at 100 hertz, then I'm going to boost up about 10 decibels of 100 hertz, and I'm going to what's called sweep through all the frequencies that can be selected using this frequency selector all the way from 100 up to 8 kilohertz. So you will hear the difference um, based on where the frequency knob is situated, and you'll be able to tell what particular portions of the frequency response you like and dislike. So here's a listen to that. So here's flat. And I'm going to boost up 100 hertz. You can really hear that bass. And then I'll move the frequency selector up slowly from 100 to 200. And finally, a low shelving equalizer that begins at 80 hertz, or, is, or yes, indeed, 80 hertz, just like it says on the knob. And you can boost or cut below 80 hertz with this knob. So here's a substantial amount of 80 hertz and every frequency below. And you also have a filter to cut out everything below 75 hertz. And I'll tell you, I like this equalizer a lot better than the old 1604s, that's for sure. It, it sounds better, I know that it has more headroom, and it's more flexible.